Hey guys, 7 W Rocks here, and I'm supposed to do like a TNA video, just talk about the booking and stuff. I realized that video is gonna do too long, be too long, and uh, I just I should have notes and stuff for that. So probably that video will come later on during the week or whatnot. Uh, but I did want to talk about a TNA video, a TNA topic. Uh, Kurt Angle has re announced his return to the ring. Will be Bound for Glory weekend. Uh, he will be doing the shows right before Bound for Glory. I have no idea when they are or where they at, are at, uh, so I apologize for that. But he will compete at Bound for Glory, which is kind of surprising because they also, of the dirt sheets, I don't know if he announced it. I think he said it during an interview or the dirt sheets are saying it, but he said something where he will not be signing with TNA. And honestly, I think that means he does want to go to the WWE. Honestly, I feel like uh, he's seen, you know, if Bully Ray and Devon can do it, why can't he? So, I think he wants to go back to the WWE. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But, um, I think it'll be cool to have his, you know, final match at Mount Free Glory uh, to really hype up that event, get a big star like that. And uh, it's cool that he's coming back to wrestle those shows. So, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but I was wondering, who should he face at Bound for Glory? Uh, a lot of the rosters, you know, kind of gone. You know, they've left, so it's disappointing. But honestly, if I put, booked it, I would really like to see Kurt Angle versus Davey Richards. I'm sure the Wolves are going to defend their tag titles or something during Bound for Glory. But I don't know. I just feel like that'd be such a great match. Or uh, Kenny King versus Kurt Angle. I'd like to see maybe have uh, Kenny King build him up as a big heel. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see, you know, one of those matches, probably Davey, I'd, I'd want to see more. Um, I'm hoping it's not like Eric Young or something. Nothing against Eric Young, but I think his final match, he should put over a really, you know, young talent or whatnot. I'm not saying, you know, EY doesn't deserve to get put over, but uh, I'm hoping it's Davey or something like that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, um, who should base. Here, I have the, here, I have the roster on my phone. Let me look at it real quick. I don't want to make this video too short. Um... Austin, now, I want to say Austin Aries, maybe they'll do that. They'll finally have that match. Because um, I, I remember he returned at the tapings or something. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, honestly. Um, yeah, there's Davey, um, EC3 again, maybe. Oh, no, I can't say that. He's already had his match announced for Bound for Glory. No spoilers, though. Um, maybe Lashley, I don't know. Mandrews. Why are, like, Magnus and King Mo and... Freaking Bully Ray are still on the roster. I don't know why. On the current roster. Um, Spud, just to put him over. It, like, hugely. That'd be awesome to put Spud over again. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I'd, I'd probably go with Man... Or, Mandrews. I'd probably go with Davey Richards. I think that'd be a really cool match. Uh, but I don't want Eddie to be left off, so... Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what's your Kurt Angle's big final match? If you were booking it with the current roster, who would you have Kurt Angle face at Bound for Glory? So... Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 Rocks. And uh, sorry, not the most exciting video, but uh, once next week rolls around, I'll be talking NXT, Ring of Honor, All-Star Extravaganza. I'll be you know, showing you what I'm taking and stuff, getting ready for those awesome events. I can't wait for it. Um, but thank you so much for watching. As always, have a nice day.